Thank you for such a generous introduction. President Clinton, colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to receive this prestigious award on behalf of GESCO, our institution, on behalf of the Haitian Ministry of Health with whom we've collaborated from day one, and on behalf of our international collaborators, Cornell University and Fondation Merieux. Most importantly, I am humbled to be here today, representing so many Haitians who have been terribly affected for so long and in all aspects of their lives. I'm particularly grateful to receive this award from a president who has invested so much time, effort, passion, dedication, and leadership into rebuilding my country. In 1981, when 12 colleagues and I began working with young males wasting from an unknown and rapidly fatal disease, none of us at that time had predicted the scope of this new world pandemic. Thankfully, effective treatments were quickly developed in 2003. Antiretroviral therapy was made available to low-income countries. And before we had the availability of ART, 90% of our patients were dead in 12 months. One year after the arrival of antiretroviral therapy in Haiti, 90% of our patients were still alive, an outcome equal to that of the best health centers in the world. We presently provide antiretroviral therapy to 52% of all AIDS patients in Haiti. Over time, our mission has evolved and has become much broader. We fight now against the underlying, underlying causes of these illnesses, which arise particularly from poverty. This has become particularly critical since the recent earthquake, which nearly decimated a country already in its, on its knees. Today, one of the most serious challenges is the proper relocation of 1.2 million people still living in tent cities, including the 7,000 we took refuge on our premises. Relocation must include the provision of a package consisting of healthcare, schools, housing, job training, and microcredit. We are ready to take on this new challenge with our partners from the public and private sectors by implementing these global health services within a model village. This is what will bring hope. So much has been done and so much remains to be accomplished. We must keep this generosity alive for the years of rebuilding to come. Please do not forget Haiti. Do not forsake Haiti. Thank you again for this great distinction.